Hey guys, so um, this is going to be a bit more of a serious video, but a lot of you know about my cat, Axel. He makes an appearance in a lot of my videos. He's actually right here, um, but he's he's very tired right now, so, so I won't bother him. But I'm just going to tell you a little story of this just awful incident that happened with him. And this is my warning to any pet owners out there. I, I, I feel... You guys need to know this, just so this doesn't happen to you. So, Axel's always been a very healthy cat. You know, we, he, he gets plenty of exercise, he, he eats regularly, like, you know, he, he's, he's a healthy cat, in great shape for his age. We don't know how old he is, but he, he was an adult when we got him, like, ten years ago. Um, he was a rescue, so, so he's, he's pretty old right now, but he's never had any problems. He's always been very strong. Um, a couple weeks ago, out of the blue, as I was leaving for school, he was violently throwing up on the ground. And, you know, cats get sick sometimes. Like, they're living creatures, too. So I stayed with him for a little bit. I actually missed my first class so I could, you know, take care of him a little bit. But then I had to go. Um, I didn't think anything of it. I thought maybe he just had some kind of sickness. And But then I got a call during class from my brother saying that he, his tail was shaking, like crazy, like seizure shaking. I'm like, oh man, well he was sick this morning, so just keep an eye on him till I get home. When I got home, it was just worse than I could have imagined. His, I, I can't even explain to you, his tail was just like vibrating like crazy. I've never, I, I worked at an animal shelter, I've never seen anything like this. And he, he was very weak, he couldn't really walk around. I noticed he stopped using his kitty litter, he, he wasn't eating, he wasn't drinking. I got really concerned about him, and we, my family has been having a lot of bad luck lately, like, we've been having some, like, plumbing issues, and just bad things keep happening to us where we have to keep spending money, so we avoided going to the vet thinking he would get better, because we don't have money to spend on the vet, but it got to the point where he was clearly dying, um, he couldn't walk, he, every time he stood up, his paws would just, like, collapse, and then he would just sit around and he's he he was a pretty active cat he he would he he would claw you if you did something that he didn't like but he i mean he's he's very sweet but you know he's a cat he's assertive but that all went away he became very lethargic and you know i i have a good animal instinct i just knew he was dying and then uh when it got to the point where he was hiding under my bed i knew it was time he 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 was you know getting ready to let go because that's a survival instinct. Cats go and hide when they're dying, so they'll be away from predators. Um, and, you know, I was trying to, like, mentally prepare myself. I actually said goodbye to him the night before because I didn't think he would make it through the night. But when it got to that point, like, I just couldn't handle it. So I called my dad, and I'm like, Dad, look, I know we can't afford it, but let's just take him to the vet and maybe have him put down there and and we discussed how we were going to deal with this and like we basically planned our cat's passing and this was very very hard for me because he's my best friend he really is and so we we packed him up in the car we brought him to the vet and within 30 seconds of being at the vet, I swear, the first thing the vet says was, wow, he lost a lot of weight. And we're like, yeah, he hasn't been eating. And then he feels his, um, his like, backside, and he's like, there's a blockage in his bladder. And we're like, can he fix that? And so the he was, he was at the vet for about a week, and he, he would make progress, and then he, he would just regress again. Um, it was very bad. But he's finally home now. He's recovering very slowly. But the interesting thing is what caused this. We switched his cat food about a week ago, and we, we thought it would be fine, because we normally were feeding him Iams, and the store was just out of Iams, so we just got him Purina without thinking anything of it. Big mistake. Once we got him Purina, like, a week later, this happened, and the vet said, if we had stuck to Iams, this would not have happened. I, I did some research, and a lot of people have complained about Purina not using quality ingredients, having moldy ingredients in their food, and just not being a quality brand for cats. 
So I'm going to write them a strongly worded e email. I'm going to leave them voicemails. They nearly killed my cat. I almost lost my best friend just by switching his food. So this is a warning to anybody who owns cats, or, or I know Purina makes dog food too, so hopefully this won't happen to dogs either. But this is not the first case. Don't give your cat Purina if they're not already eating it. If, if you're giving your cat Iams or any other cat food, stick to that because because this might happen and this was really traumatic for me and my cat and I'm sure my whole family and he's he's never gonna be the same he's still very sick he, he's better he's walking around he's eating now but he's very weak and probably not gonna be with us that much longer and but yeah this this was a crazy thing that I had to experience and you know I just, I just wanted you guys to know that so you don't have to go through what I went through. So, thank you for watching.